Today I'm gonna show y'all how people get their hair cut in prison and they only use a razor and a comb and a toothbrush. Check it out. Hold down, man. Suitcase this. My cell phone, I'm a charger, don't walk with a limp. Get it knocked off or missing, you gon' get it. Next time I see you ass, you gon' leave airlifted. What's up, everybody? Y'all know K for All TV back in the building, man. Y'all hit that like and subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. All right, I've been uh, saying I was gonna make this video for a while now, but um, I wanted to come on here or whatever and let y'all see the way that people actually get their hair cut on a day-to-day -day basis in prison. When the barbershop isn't open, and even if the barbershop is open, people in the dorm have a mean hustle. And to me, it's actually a better haircut than with the clippers, all right? And um, this is all it is right here. As you see, it is just a comb with a razor blade on it. And the person that's cutting the hair actually places his thumb on the razor blade like this, you know, while he's cutting the hair or whatever, like this. Chain gang robbery. On it, finna take it, give it up, there's no debating. See blood on my eyes, that's what it is, cause a nigga been walking with Satan. Staying out my sights where you ought to be. I walk in nightmares, what they call to me. Give it up, give it up, and no stopping me. This what you call chain gang robbery. If I want it, finna take it, give it up, there's no debating. Now, depending on who the person actually is that is cutting the hair, the barber, some people tend to put tape, you know, to hold the razor down. They'll put tape all the way around her here to hold their finger when they're doing it and stuff like that. But for the most part, you know, you don't even need a piece of tape. It's literally just like this. And what you do is, is you get you a, a razor, which, you know, in, in prison, they don't, they used to supply you with razors, but they don't supply you with razors no more. But barbers still come across the razors because that's their hustle and that's how they make the money. So anyways, you would have a razor blade like this, you know, usually the single blades like a Bic, the little cheap ones or whatever. And you get you, uh, you're gonna break this off so you have just that piece. This, you don't need nothing to do with it. And then you need toenail clippers for this in order to get the whole, in order to get the whole razor out of this, actually. And what you do is you just trim your way around this little piece right here, okay? You wanna trim it around like that so that way once you do it, you know, you can break it all off. And when you break it off, you'll actually be able to take the razor out, okay? Just like that. And then you get you a comb. And you see how it's got the little prongs or the big prongs? It depends on which which one you want to use. Now me, when I was doing it, you know, I used the bigger prongs. And you just, you know, you just stick it in there. Like that. That's easy as one, two, three. Okay? And people don't understand how these are lifesavers. There are some talented people in there that can cut you up perfectly with a tape an edge up can take your whole number four off the top of your head and make it into a fade off just a razor blade and a comb now of course you use a sharp fresh razor you could get maybe one or two people off of a off of a, a razor before it's dull and then after that you know you're going to want to swap it out or whatever and then they usually use a toothbrush also like to get rid of the hair like when they're cutting you up like this you know and they'll like that and they'll edge you up you know so you kind of get the idea now i'm gonna go ahead and throw in another little clip of how awesome it is that people actually get their hair cut on a day-to-day -day basis with just these two items okay a comb and a razor blade i'm the best finna be this way till i eos take it how you want nigga yeah i'm a pro fuck around i bust your lot while you're at vizzo i hate to be this way but i live for the moment waking up every day show me an opponent shanks on deck hitting bitches with locks so much pool i can even start you from the box you the person that cuts hair comes in handy okay because you can't always make it to the barber shop and you may never know what you need a cut for all right you may have it might be that time of month where you're you're allowed to take pictures and send them to your family because for those that don't know at the canteen window you can purchase a, a photo ticket for two dollars but at the end of the month or the very first of the next month you actually got to go to the visitation park which is up top which is where Vizzo's at, and then you give them your $2 ticket, you know, to take a picture. That's where you're allowed to legitimately take a picture in your blue. Down here, it'd be in front of the Seal of Florida. It'd be the big circle thing. That's the Seal of Florida. And um, you, you get that, and that's how you take pictures to send to your loved ones, you know, if they can't come to Vizzo or whatnot. Now, everybody wants to look fresh, so everybody's gonna attend to, you know, get their hair cut. You get what I'm saying? 
Um, they may not open the barbershop. Um, everything may be locked down or closed down due to someone being wet up or anything like that. So it's always good that there is someone that knows how to cut hair with a razor blade and comb inside the dorm. Now, when I first fell and I went through South Florida Reception Center, there was a mean barber, boy. I'm talking about he was on the rec yard when we were there, and he literally cut each time they popped because it was mandatory rec at that time. Mandatory, there was three yards, and you got to go to rec. It's mandatory. You're not allowed in the dorm. He'd go out there, and he'd sit under the pavilion and cut people. Boom, $5. Cut someone else. Boom, $5. That's what he was, you know, that's, that's a mean hustle. And it's literally a, a perfect edge up because even them dudes in the barbershop, you know, they, 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 they cut you up and they tape you up for the most part, but then the captain goes to getting on the ass about, you know, giving you a tape because they don't want no one to be sculptured. You cannot have your head sculptured, which means have a tape in prison. They don't allow that. Certain captains will be assholes and they'll see it or a white shirt will see it and they'll, they'll make you go back to the barbershop and get a zero, shave your whole head because no one wants a military cut. Everybody wants a, a decent, you know, fade or whatever it may be, boosie fade or whatever. So... But them, some officers are assholes, and they'll literally send you back to the barber shop to get a zero, and they will take it out on the barber. Who, who sculptured this person? Who cut their hair like that? You know, shit like that. They don't want no edge-ups, like perfectly sideburn, you know, chin strap edge-ups or anything like that. Now, when I first went to prison, it was mandatory you get a haircut. They wanted to send you to Vizzo. They wanted to allow you to go to Chow or none of this shit if your hair was too long. They'd literally take your ID off your tag while you're standing in line, and they'd rub it across your face. And if they hear hair, they'd say, go to the barbershop. Maybe you'll make it back in time to eat. That's how they were. You know, you go to Vizzo. Your family's up there waiting. They see your hair's too long when you're on your way to Vizzo. Go hit the barbershop and make your people wait up there while you get your hair cut. You know, then they changed it to where you're allowed to have your hair up to a certain length, okay? So, once they changed it like that, it actually made it harder because they'd send you to Vizzo looking all scrubby and, and woofed out and everything like that. So, it's always good to have a barber with one of these. Now, when I got released, my homeboy, when I was in there, my homeboy Bodie, Bodiqua, he's Bodiqua. So, my homeboy, homeboy Bodie. He literally taped me up, cut me all up, got me all fresh up. So when I got out of prison, I looked all fresh and everything like that. You know, no, no, no bumped out or no breakouts or anything like that because the whole compound uses the same clippers when you go to shave. They literally got a toothbrush sitting in some little fluid and they make you brush it off and shit like that. So shout out to the ones that, you know, know about this. Shout out to the ones that know how to do this. You know, they, 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 they saved plenty of people's lives in there, you know, with things like this. Because, you know, no one wants to go to Vizzo looking all ruggedy and shit like that, like I said. So, them simple things, that's all you need. You need the toenail clippers in order to break this thing open right here. Because, as you see, it has these three dots back here. Or four dots. Those right there actually got to be popped out in order to get the razor blade out. Now... You know what I'm saying? They sell these on the canteen as well in there, toenail clippers. You see what I'm saying? So like this one here, you see the little things back there? And you'd have to bust it open if you wanted to, you know? Because it'll be a mission. You'll actually sit here and try to break it without these. So this is like the number one thing you use to get that off, okay? Then, you, like I said, the toothbrush. And this is exactly what it is right here. And they just hold their finger on it. And as they, they go, it goes through the comb and it gets cut. You know, people knock it down from, like I said, a level four all the way down to a level zero. But um, anyways, this is a quick little video. It's not that much because, you know, you can't really speak on this for that much longer, you know. Um, but for the most part, you know, uh, people are probably literally doing this shit on the streets. I know there's some people that are actually institutionalized or probably came home after getting their hair cut with this so much that they tend this. They, they, they probably pay barbers to use this. I mean, it's a longer job for a barber. Of course, clippers are way easier. But, it, you know, this right here literally takes talent when they sculpt you all up, cut you all up, and it takes time. You get what I'm saying? Hot ass day outside. I decided to come out here and record. I didn't think it was going to be this hot. But trust me, it's hot as hell down here in South Florida. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Y'all go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up. See y'all next time, man. It's Frog.